Hey YouTube family, Mike Jones here back with another video on my channel where we talk about all things investing in personal finance with the genuine hope that we'll be able to inspire someone to go ahead and get started to uh, with their financial freedom journey today. With that said, I just want to go out and give a special thanks to everyone who's already subscribed to my channel. As of today, we had 150 uh, subscribers. So shout out to all you guys who have decided to join the financial freedom journey. And with that said, let's keep that uh, number uh, tick tocking and increasing. With that said, um, we're going to go ahead and get started with what we're talking about today, which is um, we're going to go ahead and give an updated uh, review of what, uh, how many uh, dividends we're expected to make in the year 2021. Um, because in the last couple of days, things have changed drastically as far as how much we're expected to make. Because I know I just made a video on this. But we're super excited to go ahead and get into that and we'll go ahead and get into everything about that right after this. Right. Okay, welcome back YouTube family. Um, so like I said, um, we're talking about how many dividends I'm expected to make in the year 2021. And we're gonna go ahead and start screen recording, but before we get started with that, it'd be really awesome if you went ahead and smashed that like button for me and subscribed, as it is absolutely free to do so, and it doesn't cost you a thing. It really helps to uh, validate why I'm going ahead and making these videos, to go ahead and spread the wealth and educate people on how they can become financially free. And with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, as promised, we're gonna talk about it, and we're gonna use our dividend calculator, which is an app that we have that makes things a little bit easier, lets us uh, spread the um, spread out our dividends um, by section of the investment that we have. And so the first one here, as you can see, is obviously our Robinhood to Fidelity portfolio, which um, we converted earlier in 2020. And so as you can see, we're expected to make $103 from our 50 shares of AT&T, which are in um, this account. Um, but we also have Simon Property Group, um, Broadcom, Verizon, Lockheed, Market, Lockheed Martin, Apple, BlackRock, uh, One Oak, which we have four shares of, Bank of Nova Scotia, Southern Company, um, Coca-Cola, Caterpillar, PepsiCo, Public, Home Depot, 3M, Sherwin Williams, um, Vanguard, which is absolutely a great um, ETF if you're looking for one to have. This is actually uh, ticker symbol VOO, um, which is at $339.03 right now. And you might say, man, that is super expensive. But if you're new to investing, this is what you need to know. ETFs are one of the best ways to invest and not put yourself at so much risk. Um, with this holding, you can go ahead and be invested in the top um, 500 companies in the U.S. market. And uh, the gains that you'll make on this will be the average of what those top holdings are. Um, now, it doesn't show it here, but the top 10 holdings are like Apple, Google, Amazon, um, all these really successful companies. Um, and that's what the majority of the holdings is made up of. But there are 500 uh, plus in the ETF. Um, so with that said, if you were to buy one share of this VOO um, ETF, you would be able to um, hold over 500 companies in one entity. With that said, um, we also have McDonald's, Waste Management, Royal, uh, Royal Bank of Canada, uh, Bank of Montreal. We have Johnson & Johnson, Viacom CBS, which is the class, looks like the class B share, oh, class A share. We also have uh, Texas Instruments, Novartis, Domino's Pizza, Toronto Dominion Bank, uh, Costco uh, Realty Income, Hasbro, Stanley Black & Decker, Qualcomm, Well Tower, Merck & Co, Lowe's, Walmart, Main Street Capital, Microsoft, Boeing, Bristol Myers Squibb, Anheuser-Busch & Bev, um, Invesco Management, which is the SPHD ETF, which is another ETF you should consider investing in. This ETF um, gives a mo monthly dividend handout, so that, or not handout, but monthly dividend distribution, so that's awesome. We also have MetLife, Colgate Palmolive, Palmolive um, Tyson Foods, US Bank, General Electric, Wells Fargo, Pfizer, Abbott, Stag Industrial, 
Mondelez International, Kinder Morgan Incorporated, Nike, Oracle, Comcast, Charles Schwab, uh, Tinger Factory Outlet Center, um, eBay, uh, NVIDIA, Meredith, Molson Coors Beverage, um, HB Fuller, Ford Motor, General Motors, uh, Halliburton Southwest, and then we have three companies right here which have given dividends in the past but are currently not um, giving dividends. Now, National Grid definitely is giving dividends, and I think Simon's AG is actually giving dividends, but uh, Walt Disney and AM Bev are not giving div dividends, so we're actually making more um, in this portfolio. Um, now, when you use um, an app to go ahead and put in your dividends, you do run the risk of having inaccurate numbers, but I make sure I account for all my stocks as it is, so I know um, exactly how much each stock is going to give me. Um, but this is just a rough estimate, and it does a, a pretty good job of having accurate numbers. But every once in a while, you have a stock where it slipped up. With that said, um, as you can see, it'll be a monthly payout of about almost $35 with $1.14 daily, um, and just in passive income, just from holding these shares. And that is gonna stand as long as there's not an increase and there's not a decrease in the dividend payouts over the course of the year. Now, when you look quarterly, I'll be making about $104.26. Um, as you can see, I have 72 positions out of the 100 that are in my Robinhood to Fidelity uh, portfolio, which um, provide a dividend uh, payout. Then we're at $417 or roughly $417.03 out of the $1,000 goal um, annually that we're trying to hit for this Fidelity portfolio. Now we're gonna put a lot of emphasis into making sure that we um, invest in more dividend shares this uh, year. Also, we wanna make sure that companies that we're already invested in, that we go ahead and get a higher positioning in these um, companies um, or a higher share count in these companies that we already have a position in. With that said, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next um, portfolio which we have which is the Weeble portfolio but as you can see we have two other um, accounts to talk about so make sure you stay tuned and if you haven't already make sure you smash that like button and subscribing because we're trying to give you the most detailed and the most transparent updates on uh, financials in the YouTube community um, we show almost absolutely everything that is not personal information so with that said let's go ahead and get into it again as you can see we have Bank of Nova Scotia here which is paying out about $86 and 78 cents, um, which is not accurate. So this is one of the companies that um, they don't have an accurate count on. I think it's saying that it's paying out like $4 per share. It's only paying out about $2 and I want to say like 10 cent or no, I want to say $2 and like 40 cents a share. So that's inaccurate, but um, the rest of the stuff in here is accurate. So as you can see, we have some of the similar companies, but some that stick out in this um, portfolio is that we have Walgreens, we have uh, Shaw Communications here, we have BP, we have one Amgen share, one WW Granger share, we have Telus Communications as well, Chevron, Goldman Sachs, Lamb Research, Whirlpool, um, AbV, Clorox, Kimberly Clark, um, we have Duke Energy, Diageo, um, this is a Vanguard real estate ETF. Uh, we have Hershey, we have John Deere, BCE, Eaton Corp, Southwest. Now we have Southwest in the other one, but we have more shares of Southwest here. We have Assurant, Mercury General, Allstate, CVS. Um, we have Viacom CVS B shares here. Um, so that's something to be aware of. We also have Starbucks, um, Aflac, how much in this one? Uh, Keurig, Dr. Pepper, Bank of America, and we have WWE for fun, Halliburton, which is in the other one, and then JetBlue Airways. So um, you may be wondering, why didn't I just copy and paste uh, my portfolio in Robinhood um, to, uh, rev to the same thing I would have in Weeble? And the, the reasoning behind that is because I wanted to challenge myself to find um, just as good uh, performing stocks or solid stocks um, for my Weeble portfolio as for my Robinhood portfolio without copy and pasting the exact same format that I have for my Robinhood portfolio. And, you know, uh, 
if you listen to Warren Buffett, who's the greatest investor of all time, he'll say that there's only a, a solid few companies that you should hold hold for your whole retirement. And I completely agree with that. You should definitely have a solid foundation of about five to maybe 10 companies um, that you're going to hold for the absolute long term until you retire. But there are good companies in the stock market and they can be found almost anywhere. And you just have to do your due diligence and do your own research and make sure that these are companies that you truly believe in. Um, so going forward, we're up to about uh, seven, uh, I'll say about six hundred and eighty dollars uh, in dividends without even talking about our last two accounts. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into our last two accounts. Um, so as you can see here, we have our M1 Finance Roth IRA, and the M1 Finance Roth IRA is uh, one entity that is hold, held up by one um, ETF, and this is another great ETF if you're looking at ETFs, a little cheaper than the VOO. This is the Vanguard Total Stock Market uh, ETF, and it holds uh, the most successful uh, companies in the stock market um, all together in the in the world stock market all together um, in this entity I think there's over 3,000 holdings in this one uh, ETF so that's something that uh, it produces actually a, a pretty nice uh, return every year but uh, that's something to consider when thinking about uh, buying into this and you can get that at a, a price of $191.87 as of right now um, as you can see, it does give a nice little dividend every year, uh, which is $2.71 per share. And right now I have 36 uh, shares um, because my uh, account has grown a little bit. Now it is down uh, today about $100 because today the stock market took a little bit of a hit. But we're okay with that. Um, we know that it will go back up. And the great thing about this is um, because it's all being reinvested and the gains are being reinvested, um, it'll account for more shares going forward. So I think I have originally started um, this account with, um, I want to say 191. So I originally started this account with maybe 15 or 16 shares, and now it's up to 36 shares, um, which is absolutely phenomenal, guys. Um, it's, it's crazy to see the growth of this ETF in just one year. And now we're making more, more and more dividends. So um, we were making 16. We had 16 shares, and we were making about 271 per share. But now we're up to 36 shares, making 271 per share. And that's the uh, power of you know compounding dividends on top of dividends and reinvesting those dividends. Um, and this is just in within one year, guys. What? Let's see what happens in five years from now um, when these dividends are well over $200. That's gonna be fantastic to see. And on top of that, you know that I'll be contributing annually every year at least $3,000 to this account. Moving forward, we're gonna go ahead and talk about our last stock, or our last um, holding, which is our Vanguard Roth IRA holding, which is giving us dividends as well. Now, this is not to account for the dividends that we actually make from our savings accounts because I wanted to just count the ones that I make in the actual market. But as you can see here, guys, um, with the change in everything that's going on, we went ahead and went wholeheartedly into uh, AT&T with the 40, almost $4,500 that we received from our uh, rollover IRA. And with that, we went ahead and uh, put everything into AT&T. So we were able to get 156 shares um, at an average cost of, I think, like, $28.50 and as you can see we're almost up a dollar <laughs> already um, so we like timed it perfectly even though it wasn't a thing of timing it was just more of that was when I was able to transfer and roll over the money to um, the IRA in my existing Vanguard account and so now we're expected to make almost $400 just from an IRA that has only reached a value of eight thousand dollars right now which is fantastic guys so we're super super excited to see where this goes we're super super excited to see this um at t uh grow over the year and with the 323 dollars that it's expected to pay us out um in the upcoming year if it only gets to 30 dollars a um 
a share um, at the end of 2021. We're expecting over 11 shares of AT&T new shares that'll be added to this 156 shares, bringing us to about 167 uh, shares um, of AT&T in this one account, which will also elevate how much we make in dividends um, in one year. So it'll probably, probably be like $350 in dividends just from AT&T in our Roth IRA. So we're super excited about that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and stop the video right here. I think we've kind of ex uh, fully explained the whole process of what everything goes through. Um, with that said, if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe. And if you wouldn't mind going ahead and uh, commenting down below uh, what you thought about this video, if it was helpful to you. Um, and I will go ahead and make sure that I post um, the total after I calculate everything and make sure it's accurate, the total of how much I'm expected to make in the year 2021. Um, but with that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Um, thank you and God bless.